Hey guys, what's up? So a lot of you have been interested in my backstory as how I became a programmer. I've done a couple of videos on the subject which all seem to have gotten a lot of attention. So it would seem that a lot of, of my audience on this channel are people that are in a similar position as I was in a long time ago where um, you, you know, you're trying to change your career, you, you like programming, you want to make it a full-time job. Some of you may be going to school for it. Some of you are just trying to teach yourself after working you know, full-time jobs or part-time jobs. Some of you have children. Some of you are married. Um, and it, it's a difficult struggle. So I get the question a lot and I get a lot of views on like, how did I do it? Because um, you know, my story dates back to the fact that I was 28 years old. I went to a, a rock music concert for a band named Bayside and um, it was in Baltimore. I left the show, and a after the show, I, I ended up um, coming back home. And uh, I, re I remember I got sick after that. And, and, and But during the sickness, I was also, like, I basically had a blast at this show. And the lead singer of, of the band was the same age as I am. And I was just thinking, you know, my life is a little bit different. I had this house that was, like, way out in the country. I was commuting almost an hour to work every single day. Um, and I was doing a job that I just felt like, you know, it wasn't, the job that I wanted to be doing for the rest of my life. And I, I didn't have a whole lot of options. So um, I had wanted to start websites even before that, that time, I believe, but I, I definitely wasn't serious about it. It wasn't until after that show uh, that I ended up really starting to get into Photoshop and, and, you know, basically planning out my templates, the way my website was going to look. And I was writing down a lot of the rules and things like that. Um, um, I will say that I was bouncing off of ideas off uh, of my father, who um, you know ha has been in business for a long time, and, and he was actually telling me to write down business plans and things like that that I, I wouldn't normally have thought to do. Uh, but I was I was serious about building the website, and um, I, I you know I got into the the different programming languages, starting with Perl and then moving into Python. But I was using the programming languages to. Uh, basically scour the web to collect data on the rock music um, you know for the rock music website I was looking for uh, band names uh, genres labels things like that um, and I was trying to put it all together and ultimately my product wasn't wasn't really coming together because it took so much skill I remember the first time that I got involved in jQuery and back then you know jQuery was like the you know the go-to library but it was still relatively new just a couple years old and a lot of people the, the conversation was do you need to learn JavaScript or can you just learn jQuery? Now that conversation I don't think is had as much because there's a lot of frameworks that are going back to the regular JavaScript days. But uh, back in those times, it wasn't even that long ago, uh, that, but that was the debate. So I was, I was like, you know, getting into some basic JavaScript, but I started jumping into jQuery. And, um, you know, the first time I actually got a plugin to work, like I, like even the concepts of getting a plugin into my HTML page and actually uh, calling the right functions and stuff like that was very difficult for me because I had literally no formal training um, in programming or anything like that. And, you know, I barely knew what, you know, external JavaScript sty you know, pages were and, you know, external style sheets and things like that. I, I didn't really know much about that. But, um, you know, the first time I was able to, to do it, I was very proud of myself. And it was just small little examples like that that I eventually kept building upon um, to where I started building more complicated things to the point where the first website I ever deployed to a, um, a production environment, I actually uh, posted it on a server that my dad had um, had owned or was using or something. But my website was entirely static like the entire thing was just html and css and javascript there was no database it was nothing it was all just data and html templates and when you're getting started i mean that's fine because uh, you know hooking up to the database and, and then learning obviously uh, uh, the sql language or having to deal with some ob object relational map or if you're using django or something else so you know those are additional learning curves that you have to to overcome and you know, when I was first getting started, I just wanted everybody to kind of see what I was working on. And, you know, the static site looked good, um, but obviously there was very limited functionality that you could have because it was static and there was no database and really, you know, no server-side processing or anything like that. So um, the point is, though, is that it was it was little accomplishments built on top of, of each other that eventually be built, you know, a more solid foundation. Um, this was a long, long time ago. Um, so all that being said, um, I sometimes get emails, and this video is going to be about a couple of different things, but I sometimes get emails about 
um, you know, Chris, can you help me be a, a you know a programmer? You know, I don't understand what I'm doing. Can you help me? Um, there, there's really not a lot I can do for you in that case. Like one time, I was watching a video uh, for that John Sanmez had done um, about uh, trying to find a mentor, and he was basically stating in the video that that nobody has the time. At least people that you would want to be your mentor, they don't have the time to be your personal Yoda or your personal mentor because. Um, you know they're barely pro they're probably barely holding it together themselves with all the the responsibility and everything that they have to deal with. But um, you don't need a mentor though. This isn't about like trying to master like the you know the samurai and you need like some sort of you know kung fu panda or something like that. You know or kung, whoever kung fu panda went to in his videos to learn the secrets of uh, kung fu and everything. It's not really about that. Um, th th this is about repetition and it's about um, it's about not getting down on yourself when you get you know kicked in the balls and, and told that you're not good enough and sorry that's a male reference but um th that is going to happen unfortunately and in, in the business world especially in the it world you're going to deal with a lot of arrogance and a lot of egos um th there's a lot of people in this industry that are very smart and they want you know to show you that they're very smart um we, we see it every day with all the different technologies and um and frameworks and stuff that are popping up out of out of really everywhere it seems like everybody wants to have their own framework they want to be zuckerberg um, they want to show you how smart they are and how clever they are um, and, th and there's a lot of that in this industry and, and unfortunately that does sway into you know the hiring process and stuff like that too so if you have somebody that um, you know is is also you know very capable and they you know went to some major university they're going to get taken over you in most cases um, but what you do in that case is, um, is you need to be able to learn how to handle that adversity. You need to be able to bounce back when, when people tell you that you're not good enough. Some people will get down on themselves because being rejected sucks. Whether or not you're getting dumped you know, by a girlfriend uh, or a boyfriend, it sucks being told that you're not good enough, that you're not the, you know, the person that is going to you know, fill that void. Uh, you know, whatever it may be. So w we want to feel secure as uh, humans. We want to be be good enough, you know. And and for many of us, if we're changing our careers and we're out there trying to learn, and uh, we, you know, even if we're going to school for this stuff, you know, we we want to make sure that we're able to handle it. Um, and it sucks to be told that that you're not the right fit, you know. So um, that's going to be hard no matter where you are, and um, and and how you handle that's going to be going to be whether or not you can succeed or not because I've been told that I'm not good enough many times and uh, and I went you know going back to being a, a young child like um, I was never much of a fighter or anything like that I typically uh, if kids were you know being mean to me I, I tr typically tried to build the social connections that I needed to, to try to avoid being on the you know the losing end of uh, you know being made fun of or whatever whatever have you it's not like I didn't have any friends or anything like that, but I certainly wasn't Mr. Popularity. Uh, but I think in, in the back of my mind, like uh, my family, like I was never, you know, one of the more well-dressed kids or anything like that in school. And, you know, tough shit, right? I mean, it's not a big deal, but um, those things do weigh on you. And I think, um, you know, how you handle those things, if you're able to brush that stuff off or even better yet, like in my case, um, I don't really brush that stuff off very well. If I'm told that I'm not good enough, um, sometimes I actually get angry, by the way. I mean, I guess that's somewhat of a personality flaw with myself. And, and, and sometimes it might be anger with myself, you know, feeling that I'm not good enough. Or it, sometimes it could just be, uh, you know, anger towards a person who thinks that I'm not good enough. And it's not like I want to go out and physically hurt them or something like that. But um, the anger actually translates to motivation to where it's like, you know what, you know, screw you, asshole. You might think that I'm not good enough, but I'm, I'm going to be good enough and I'm going to be better than you. And um, and sometimes I think you, you need that because uh, th there's going to be assholes out there that tell you that you're not good enough. And, uh, and, and if you can't brush it off, use it for motivation. I think I do a combination of, of the two. And, f you know, even with this channel, like I get some pretty big criticism on this channel sometimes. And uh, I mean, for the most part, I brush it off. I could be like, look, asshole, I'm making money. So you're not, you know, but uh, I try not to do that. And um uh, you know, it's 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 a tough thing. Every experience is 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 going to be its own challenge. You know, and um, being told that you're not good enough definitely sucks. If you are going the route of trying to teach yourself how to program and you're not going to get the degree, like I've said all along, that I recommend that people go out and get the degree. Right now, the economy worldwide is just not good enough to provide a ton of IT jobs to people that don't have degrees. I mean, there are a lot. Of, there's a lot of demand in IT. 
But if you're going to be like a code monkey that's pounding out a lot of, you know, code day in and day out, you know, the, pro the companies are looking for young people. Uh, they're looking for kids, you know, with degrees because there's so many of them to be had. I mean, granted, there's a lot of demand out there for like really good cutting edge programmers that can literally, uh, you know, master you know, or masters at their craft. Essentially, if you're the guy that's writing uh, the React Core library and, and things like that, then, then you're, you're going to be a guy that can get a job anywhere. You're the guy that works at Facebook and Google and stuff like that. You know, those, those are for like pretty much the elite status. But I can tell you that in the programming world, there is the elite status, and then you have a massive amounts of people that, that are not as good as you think that they are. Um, and, and one of the things that I thought when I first got into corporate programming is that like I was never going to fit in. I, I was going to people that graduated from all these different major universities. How would I ever be able to fit in? And, you know, to be honest, um, I, f I, I, I could fit in and I, I feel like I still can fit in. And, um, there's people that are smarter than me. There's people that are going to tell me, I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm going to brush them off and, um, you know, I'm going to try to, to be on the winning end, uh, you know, at the end of this game. So business is a uh, a finicky thing, I think. Uh, if I'm sure Steve Jobs was told that he wasn't good enough. And, uh, you know, that's he's the kind of egomaniac that probably wasn't, wasn't able to handle something like that. But, um, you know, he got thrown out of his own company. So that's got to be a tough, a tough experience there, too. But the thing is, guys, is, is you can you can brush it off. You don't need a mentor. You need repetition. You need to, to not get down on yourself. Um, you need to build upon small successes and, you know, n never, ne never try to, well, you're going to doubt yourself every now and then, but try not to doubt yourself. Try not to, to, to harp on those uh, negative thoughts and feelings. And, and if you really are like for a consistent period of time, you know, getting down on yourself, you might want to switch gears and just work on something else for the moment. Not saying get out of programming, but I'm just simply saying, you know, start working on a different facet of whatever it is that you're trying to do. Programming is a hard thing, and it's going to continue to be hard. And, you know, the, it, it's, it's just a hard thing. There, there's no question about it. So you're trying to do one of the harder things to do in life. And not only is it just hard to learn, it changes all the time. But the good news is, is that you will get better at it. Um, and, and if people tell you you're not good enough, they can go straight to hell. That should be your mentality, and you should prove to them that they're wrong because you're the one who knows whether or not you can can do it. And and that, that answer really depends on whether or not you're going to give up on yourself or not. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think. And, um, you know, so let me know what you think. That, that's all I'm, I have to say. Thank you, guys. Bye.